You guys made a mountain of pancakes. Well, it's time for Janae to get back. These are my capable helpers for breakfast. Can we have some vitamins? Sure. There's your vitamin. All right. Hey, Dad, do you think it's ready by now? See how bubbles are starting to come in? That's how you know it's getting cooked through. Get underneath. This is a bigger one. You're gonna do it all by yourself, buddy. And then flip it over. Nailed it! Can I do one more? Go underneath. And flip. All by yourself. <gasps> you did it! Good job, man. You guys made a mountain of pancakes. <laughs> You put some butter on that. I'll get you some syrup. No, 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 oh, too much butter. There you go, like just spread that on. This is like one of my dream breakfasts. So I love having peanut butter on my pancakes, so let us know in the poll if you like peanut butter on pancakes. You make frosty. Did I make a snowman? Same with me, on accident. Whoa. <laughs> Lisey's all for the peanut butter. I wanna have 10 kids in our family when I grow up. How come? Why do you want to have 10? I think they would have more fun playing because they would have more kids to play with and I wouldn't have to invite kids over to come all the time. You just have them all living in there. Yeah. Okay. Here's a big house. <laughs> Here, I'll be in the front. You guys playing back scratch? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am out on my own this morning because I have a terrible crink in my neck. I like can't barely move my neck without a lot of pain. I think from delivery and then from holding Janae for long periods of time in weird positions, you know, nursing in different ways. I know I'm not sleeping as well as I was before. And so I'm coming to a chiropractor appointment today to hopefully get my body better adjusted so I can be feeling better. Cause Peter Pan coming. You can watch a movie if you want. You can eat as candy. much candy as you and want. And you can also fly. We can fly. We can fly as happy as can be. Looks like the kids created their own little Neverland. Last time we ever watched Peter Pan. So you guys made a kid land, yeah. where you can do whatever you want as kids. Yeah, but you still have to eat. A, but you still have to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. And um, the parents can't fly. Just the kids? Yeah, just the kids, cause, cause parents go away from us. This is the kids never land. No kids. Today's the day we're finally moving in the office furniture. So this is what I've been working with, is this little desk that we had that was in our closet upstairs. Because if you remember, that's where I worked for the first several months. And of course I have George in here. Let's just see where George is. So I love this desk. I can stand up and edit or I can sit down and edit.
<laughs> well, I got adjusted and apparently my hips and my shoulders and my neck were all needing an adjustment, but I'm still sore. So hopefully my neck and shoulders start feeling better this afternoon. We are doing school with the kids right now and my mom is being super helpful and doing some of the homeschool planning for me. She's going through Isaac's curriculum and planning out his next two weeks of school so that I don't have to worry about that. She's amazing. And Caleb is sitting here working on his handwriting. What you doing, Laura? Are you so sleepy? Since Janae is napping right now and Laura is napping, this is go time with school. So Elise and I are getting her reading lesson done together. Isaac's working on grammar and loving it. I actually am loving it. Really? This is one of the first times I've loved grammar. What are you learning about in grammar? Capitalizing names. Caleb built himself a little obstacle course for his car. Good job leaning your shoulder into it. So Caleb has about 30 minutes of quiet time each day and I'm always surprised at the stuff he comes up with during that time to entertain himself. We've always had headphones on, but I finally put speakers to it. Can, so. I, can we try? You want to try? Yeah. yeah. Isaac used to have a little drum set. He actually could play really well because he played all the time, but yeah. it was pretty loud. Nice. I want you to teach me all of that. I want you all to right. teach me. Should I teach you guys the drums? Yeah. All right. Well, this little girl is already growing out of her newborn clothes, which is just not fair. You are growing too fast. So cute. She is so, so cute. cute. And she has a pink day. <laughs> Apparently the noodles were done. Did That's you do that? I check noodles <laughs> to see if they're done. So tonight for dinner we made Cincinnati chili. This is the Cincinnati chili and you actually serve it over noodles with cheese and crackers on top of it. But I actually lived in Cincinnati for several years growing up and so for my family, my mom and dad and I, this is really nostalgic. And it has a very specific smell. I love it. it. Smells like Christmas to me. It's got nutmeg and cinnamon in it, I think. So, anyway, I don't know if the kids have ever tried it before. We'll see what they think of it. It is kind of an acquired taste, though, because it's really strong. So, I am curious to see how so that So, with respond. the kids, I'm giving them Skyline on one side and regular spaghetti on the other side. That way they can try it, but I don't have to waste it if they don't like it. So Cincinnati is known for its chili. Kansas City is known for its barbecue. Is there any kind of food that your city or where you're from is known for? Let us know in the comments. Mm. That makes me want to go taste everything. Where's known for chocolate? Hershey, Pennsylvania, I'm coming for you. What do you guys think of the Cincinnati chili? It's not my favorite because it's spicy. It is spicy. You yeah, like I it? I love it. Awesome. We should go to Cincinnati. Tastes a lot different than the normal chili. Well, it's time for Janae to get back. Yeah. Makes it so much easier to have a helper. Yeah! She's so cute. She takes after her mama. She does. Why does she need to take a bath? Because yeah, she clean. spits up and she poops and pees. Yeah, a lot of times! Lots of times. Yeah! Nope, not yet, but she's gonna get some as she gets bigger. Cub, did you also get a bath? It's all right. Now we're gonna put a diaper on her before we do her hair. 
lesson learned from years of Yes, that's an expert mom stuff. advice. Don't leave the baby naked for long. And now's the happy part of the bath. She likes this part. Should we put some soap on your head? Just a little bit. Yep, because she is little. Yeah. What does it smell like? It smells like the soap. Thanks for helping, Laura. You're welcome. Do you want to help scrub her hair? Good job. There you go. Now we're going to rinse off her hair. Well, she's all clean and fresh. I want to see. You want to see? Good night, Jay House Owl. What's the secret?